Hi everybody, Mike Gambrell again here at Blackhawk. So this is going to be uh, video number two on our wheels series. And what we're going to do today is just kind of go through the light trike. Addressing the need for the older folks that <laughs> we can't run and stuff anymore the way we thought we could. Uh, I wanted to point out really, I'm just going to go through it from, from front to back and just point out a lot of the features of it. Um, I'm going to start with the front right here. If we look down here, the front tire, if we need to take this down, is literally remove the pin, slide the axle out, out comes the front tire. Okay. Um, we found that a lot of people don't really need to do that. Uh, just because this section right here, if you'll look, the front yoke for the steering comes up and it slides into the main frame here in the tube. Uh, we have this bolted on. They'll, they'll come with a hitch pin or you can bolt it. Uh, we don't really take this one apart much. So anytime we're not taking something apart a lot, we usually just put a bolt in there instead. There are some collars. And those collars, what we wanted to do is be able to make this fit different people's heights. You know, we're not all built the same. So by removing this pin, sliding this out, you end up with the yoke. You can put a two inch collar on there or a, uh, I believe it's a four inch collar, slide it back in. And these are lined up to where all you have to do is pop the pin in. And now you've extended the steering out four inches uh, or two inches. That, that gets people in here. I mean, even the big tall dudes fit in it pretty well because we can stretch the steering out this far. Okay. So most people, if they're putting this in their car, will just pull this pin, pull this out, leave the yoke assembly together because it really isn't that big. So you're not having to pull this apart a lot. Um, I'm going to lift this up real quick. Kind of look underneath the frame here. So as we look underneath the frame, we have a main tube, goes all the way back. We've got the back tubes that are set up at an angle, and you'll notice the gussets. Everything has been everywhere where we have things going together, we have gussets installed. This really strengthens the frame. Now, if we look here, we also have this arch going back. Not only does this offer a platform for your seat board to sit on while you're taxiing on the ground, but it also increases the strength greatly when it comes to supporting the back end of these. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the trikes that you see on the market right now, um, it it really just looks like a T, folks, just like this, and that's about all there is to it. Um, you go ahead and put your motor on it and all that. Um, I'm not degrading any of these by any means. I just want to point out some differences. Uh, if you take a hard landing on that one, they generally don't handle it too well. Uh, and hard landings, guess what? doesn't matter how good you are, you're going to have one anyways. Uh, this takes quite a bit of abuse. Does it weigh more than the other ones? Yeah, it does because there's a little bit more involved in it. Uh, but when it comes to strength, uh, the strength of this is extreme. Um, we just don't get people bending them up if they have, you know, a mistake. The conditions change and you put it down a little harder than you thought you wanted to. Uh, this will take it. Um, when we move back here, as you've seen in a lot of uh, all our other wheels, uh, we're using a one-inch fiberglass axle here. And then we have tubeless tires. Uh, we inflate these anywhere between, oh, 12 and 15 pounds. And the combination of the lower tire pressure, along with the flexibility of the fiberglass axle, gives you a really good suspension. Um, you have a really hard landing. This is going to absorb that up to the point where it breaks. Well, guess what? It's doing what it's designed to do, okay? So it just gives you a good suspension, and then in the event of coming down really hard, um, it's better that it breaks rather than you. Uh, I'm going to turn this around really quick. Get a 
little bit better view of the back. Um, when we go to break this down, guys, here's the wing nuts. And this right here is the adapter brackets. And these adapter brackets are very adaptable to different frames as long as it is a tubular frame, guys. Uh, the carbon fiber stuff and some of these really, really thin, uh, small tubed um, titanium frames, uh, they, they won't work. Uh, they're not strong enough. So six wing nuts, guys. One, two, three. And then the same on the other side. If we undo those six wing nuts, this lifts off. You can put it on your back and go foot launch it. Okay. Uh, we've got hitch pins here. So you can remove this hitch pin, this yoke, or the spindle, and the tire come right off. You can remove this hitch pin. The axle comes out uh, right here on the inside. If you need to break it down even farther, again, there's a pin here that's on the spindle. You simply remove that, the tire comes off. So you can see how quickly this all comes apart. And it literally, uh, I've, I've taken a couple of these back to the Philippines in a Cabela's duffel bag. The entire trike breaks down that far, and I just checked it onto the airplane. Um, so it offers a lot of versatility for those who don't have a lot of room. I mean, if you look at the low boy three, uh, you know, most people who get into something like this end up buying a trailer. Uh, not all of us have, or live in places where we can have a trailer or that type of flexibility. I mean, room sometimes is a, is a big thing. So this, this gives you the best of both worlds, wheels and the ability to break it down literally in five minutes, um, have it together and ready to go in 10 minutes, and you're, and you're up and flying, and you can fit it in the back of your car. So anyways, uh, it's pretty much the, the light trike. Uh, just walk around. Um, some, some cage and harness setups... Uh, you know, if you go to the older J-Bar setups and everything, where that seat board is sitting up a bit higher, we do have an additional piece that goes in that actually raises this up. Um, we're not seeing so much of that stuff anymore, so I'm not going to concentrate on it. Uh, if you decide to get one of these to, to adapt your unit onto, um, just give us a call and we can go through some of that stuff. But um, right now, this is set up with the Kestrel V3 frame, the Corsair Black B. Uh, and it's ready to go. So anyways, I just wanted to take you on a walk around, take a look at it, uh, the features of it. Um, the biggest features of this is the ability to break it down quickly and strength. It, it's a very, very robust unit. Um, and we've had a lot of people that, that love them. They, they enjoy them. So this is an option for those who, like myself, uh, get a little older and stuff, and the whole running thing doesn't have the same attraction anymore. And you can readily adapt onto the light trike. Or, you know, you, you want to get into something and be able to fly around on wheels and don't have the space. You need the portability. So th this offers all of that, and at a pretty good price. So anyways, if you have any questions on the light trike, uh, feel free to give us a buzz. And I'll catch you on the next video where we're going to feature the Lowboy 3 and kind of do a nice walk around and the features of it. So catch you later.